Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 22, and I will introduce the rigid body component. In order to use the physics system, we have to make use of the rigid body component. This component tells the physics system to apply physics simulation to the objects that the component is attached to. Let's go through the basic properties of a rigid body. The mass is the weight of the object in kilograms. The drag value simulates the aerodynamic drag, which slows down the object when it is moving. Angular drag is similar to drag, but it reduces the rotational velocity instead of linear velocity. When use gravity is enabled, a force will be applied to the object to simulate gravity. Note, the gravity direction can be set via the physics tab in the project settings, and it has a default value of vector 3 dot down. When the is kinematic option is enabled, the system will no longer simulate physics for that object. But kinematic rigid body functions, like move position and move rotation, will continue to work. Note, when an object is set as kinematic, functions such as add force and add torque will have no effect on the object. We can control the accuracy of collisions using the collision detection property. For most games, this grid mode should be just fine. If you work with physics simulations that require high accuracy, you may consider to use continuous or continuous dynamic mode. Constraints can be applied to the object as well. We can freeze some axes of translation and rotation using these options. The info tab outputs the real-time properties of the rigid body, such as the velocity, angular velocity, center of mass, etc. Since this tab gets updated continuously, expect a drop in performance when testing the game in the editor. Folding these fields should solve the performance hit in the editor. Note that a rigid body requires at least one collider attached to either the current object or in its child objects. The mass of the object cannot be zero, and weird unstable behaviors may appear when the mass value is set too small. Notice the collider component contains a material field. This field takes a physics material asset, which can be created via the projects tab. A physics material allows us to configure the behavior of physics simulation for an object. We can alter the friction coefficients and the bounciness. Different physical behaviors can then be achieved. These are the basic properties of rigid body and the use of the physics system. In the next episode, I'll demonstrate applying forces, torque, and more functions related to rigid body. This is episode 22 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I'm Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.